So what do you do for a good sleep, a quality sleep? ZMA, melatonin are my go-to. Can you tell us about that cortisol blocker? What do I do a cortisol blocker. And when they say confuse your body, we took Jeffrey through Anderson squats. He's never done it before. It was such a change to his body, he couldn't walk for a week. Make sure you're eating carbs before bed. Strength gains and power uh, pro secrets. The block of time that you do it is 12 weeks because of the rep range, but then you start it over again. And I, and I noticed this is a confusion thing to everybody that you do it for 12 weeks and you go, all right, I need a completely different plan. Well, no, we stay on this plan, but the rep range and everything's changes through those 12 weeks. So just start the plan back over. So it's a confusing thing to you guys. I know that you may hear that you have to confuse your body, but like Jeffrey, or we've talked about this before, and Mona's always talked about this, is that a squat can be changed 10 different ways. It doesn't mean, and when they say confuse your body, we took Jeffrey through Anderson squats. He's never done it before. Now, it's basically squats. There's no difference in the squat, um, except the position it starts in. Yeah. It was such a change to his body, he couldn't walk for a week. But it's squats. And so our point is that, is there incline bench? And I can go back and do incline bench the next day, week, but the fingers are in closer, or they're out wider, or I take it up higher, or I take it down lower. These are all changes. Don't be so dramatic with your changes to where you have to go from squats to leg extensions. It's gotta be completely a different concept no, 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 I've done this workout, I, you know, I squat, uh, leg press, and extensions. All right, following week, extensions, leg press, squats. Just put it in reverse. That's a change. Yeah. Um, David, we were just talking about you. David And will you please, yeah. Yeah. please have somebody put a photo on your profile page? Right. <laughs> um, David. Somebody was asking about sleep. So what do you do for a good sleep, a quality sleep? ZMA, melatonin are my go-to. Can you tell us about that cortisol blocker? Do I do a cortisol blocker, is which is good? a huge thing. It's going to keep that estrogen in check. I am very feminine, obviously. Um, <laughs> that's why. This way. Oh, wait, that's why I got this. T-shirt. She got a shirt. Man up. Man up. I got a man up every <laughs> single day. She tells me. Um, so I got an estrogen blocker. Um, I have ZMA. Uh, let's see. I do magnesium um and calcium i do not mix my magnesium and calcium i take them uh about three hours apart uh, but it's also very calming and also um helps feed the body yeah that well right? the, in, uh, uh, an indian fan here is saying which i'm gonna resp respond to this it says hey sir i am underweight um should I gain weight and gain muscle? Durr. <laughs> if you want the Ouch. weight. <laughs> Ouch. Durr. Durr. It's she like me durr. coming skinny. Hey, do you think I should put on muscle? Where, where yeah. is this? Point at it. <laughs> it's up the first one. Oh, wait. Right here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sir, I'm underweight. Should, should I, I gain, gain weight? weight and gain muscle? Let me see if I can see a photo. Hold on for a sec. I mean, yeah, if you want to gain muscle, you don't have to gain muscle. If you're underweight and you like being underweight, that's fine. But if fine. you want to look sexy, gain muscle. If you but want if you the want to, chicas yeah. in uh, India to... <laughs> Mona's in a mood today. That's why she got the show. I recommend putting... On, I don't know if I ever even spoke about this, and I'll do a YouTube on this. The only reason I say that you should put on muscle and weight lift is because of the fact that uh, you lose muscularity and you lose bone density... Uh, and mobilization as you get older. Um, and so, I mean, I like the look of it. I like how I look with muscles. But for you women, you should be weightlifting uh, and trying to put on muscle. So as you get older, you at least maintain, because that's the only reason. I know you want to get better, uh, but with age, you decline. So at least you're trying to maintain it uh, and stay healthy. Um, obviously, you can always go into an advance and take it like we do, or at least I do. She doesn't take this serious. Mm -mm. Uh, can you give me a pose? I don't do cardio, and I eat cookies. Let me get that out of here. <laughs> so, for everybody, 
um, I never talked about this, but just keep in mind that for health reasons, you want healthy bones, especially you women. Uh, your bone density goes much quicker than a man's. Uh, and then try to keep some kind of muscularity on a body to keep you healthy, keep your metabolism firing. That way your organs stay healthy and clean and fresh instead of your body decaying and breaking down. I don't want that for you guys. You should not get shorter, and you can do the research oh, on this. You should not get shorter as you get older. You only get older because of bone density and lack of muscle. So that's why you get shorter as you get older. Um, so that's something that just does not happen. I know that there's commercials or their young kids go, oh, wait a minute, you're over 30, your testosterone is at zero. So you can't keep muscle. That's not real, but uh, it does decline. And so unless you stay on it, that's the big thing there. Um, carbs before bed. Oh, we did some great videos. Uh, I mean, we've lectured about this, about carbs before beds. Uh, what time of the year to do it, how to do it, why to do it. And we went me. all over that. Just, like, just let me finish this one. Um, we really went over this in depth. What'd you just take? Mona just took the test booster. <gasps> I'm in trouble. Okay, she didn't take the test booster because no, I would I be in trouble. I to take my joint support. Joint today. support. <laughs> and that reminded me. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. There you go. Three tablets. Three boom, boom. Tablets. So, anyway, guys, the best joint support. Uh, thank you for the question about carbs before bed. That's a huge one, and I we really went into depth about that and the science behind it and why you should, at times of the year, make sure you're eating carbs before bed. And for you, for whoever asked about sleep earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, depending on where you are in your diet, your nutrition, and what you're doing right now, carbs before bed are a huge one to help you keep the sleep and deep sleep. Hey, that's good. Uh, William, that's great that you're on the uh, strength gains and you're already noticing the changes. Strength gain that first week, man, uh, no matter what program I go from uh, to that, that first week crushes me. And I always need like an extra week to start that first week. Uh, so for anybody that does the strength gain or power bodybuilding program, uh, me, and, and it's not just me, all the guys with me, I don't think anybody, <laughs> I think we started power bodybuilding and the first week, like just gave everybody twinges in the backs and stuff. Jeffrey, was that one week everybody just got <laughs> injured? Trash. It was like we played football games or something. We, we uh, started the uh, power bodybuilding nine week program and that first week destroyed us. Everybody was tapping out. Uh, that's just a, it's a hard, hard program.